A lot of information coming down the pipeline from CG. And for all of you who are too lazy (laughs) to check it out yourselves, I got you, fam. We're going to read over it right now. And also, I'll give you my kind of my opinions, my takes on this and and what this means for the game and all of that good stuff. Um, So first and foremost, there he is, Maul, showing up in game right now. We got the update. And so I'm going to read the uh, the content uh, update, the patch notes right now. And then there's also some info on Conquest 7, which we'll get into uh, at the end of the video. So hello, Hollow Table Heroes. In addition to the third and final set of Lord Vader's requirements, today's update contains Conquest 7 Maul, a character shard acceleration, and some news about double drops, simmable assault battles, a few, a few issues are fixed, and more. In addition to below to the below and known issues, the September event calendar has been posted, uh, which you guys can go check out there. And then it's going to be Clone Sergeant as a login. So character changes. Uh, so the nerf is live, ladies and gentlemen. And trust me, there is going to be there is going to be a lot of uh, videos made on this update. Probably, I am going to refrain from making a video today on it. Probably. Um, unless anything earth shattering comes out, I'll probably sit back and kind of gauge, uh, this nerf as it goes live throughout the community to really give you guys an idea of what, uh, what is going on here with it, if that makes sense. Because I I feel like there's going to be a lot of knee jerk reactions and I kind of want to let it bake at least a day before I, I start developing opinions on it. So in celebration of the newly announced Galactic Legend Lord Vader, all fleet and cantina battles are rewarding double drops August 28th and 29th. That's great. And then there's the requirements. Assault battles are now, are now simmable after achieving three stars. Well, hello. I just finished <laughs> the Rebel Roundup tier three of the challenge tier uh at three star with my troopers so that's gonna be nice actually i'm I'm pretty excited about that conquest seven is ready to go and maul is the newest conquest unlock for more information about about maul and how to add him to your roster check out the characters and ship section below also mods and mod slicing materials have been increased and carbonite circuit boards have been added to conquest rewards so a little bit of a uh, buff there on Conquest Rewards. Not going to complain about that. Um, we had a, a bug uh, on this pack here. They fixed that. Executor update. The following changes were made to Executor. All right. The crew ability, Vader's Bounty, will stipulate at max rank level 8. Tank allies will take 50% reduced damage from out-of-turn attacks. Uh, that's very interesting. Uh, special ability 1, Breach of Protocols. We'll now call all Bounty Hunter allies to assist. From level 1 to 6 of that ability, Bounty Hunter allies will deal minus 25% damage when they assist. At level 7 of that ability, the damage penalty will be removed, and the Bounty Hunter allies will assist at full damage. At max, level 8, they will dispel all tenacity up from enemies. Bounty Hunter allies will deal 10% more damage. If the enemy is breached, Bounty Hunter allies will deal 25% more damage instead. Um, So... This is let me let me explain to you guys what this is fixing. So one of the biggest problems was the ship was too slow or was too fast. Sorry. And what would happen is you would kind of want your ship to slow down so that one of your other ships could go first, get the breach out there, and then you can lead off with this mass assist on the bounty hunters and get lots of target lock out there. That was very important to start the battle, especially in the mirror match. So removing breach as a condition of the mass assist for bounty hunters, effectively adjust that in a way where the, the executor can go first and it won't, uh, it won't, you can get all the target lock out there either way, get that mass assist. And then uh, you'll still do the extra damage when you, when you level the ability up to max. So I actually think that's a pretty good change. I don't know how this looks in practice yet, but uh, it looks to me like they've, they've effectively addressed the issue of the five star, ship being advantageous over the uh, seven star ship so characters and ships for more info on these units here here it is so we've already gone over the mall kit shard shuffle uh piet is in your accelerated characters now that's great uh this increases his shard supply and adjusts his shard swap conversion rate as well um and then we got a list of fixes here 
I don't know if there's anything. We'll read through these just in case there's anything that uh, is is uh, notable. Clarified Zam Wessel's having a blast ability description at level five to state thermal detonators instead of bombs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. That's good to know uh, for the three people in the community who are rocking level five. Um, fix the issue with Jedi Master Kenobi's leader ability not gaining crit immunity uh, with the entrenched data disc in Conquest. Okay. Uh, units defeated by Commander Sokotano's special force sleep, uh, which are then revived during Galactic Legend Ray's ultimate, no longer retain damage reduction upon completion of the ultimate. That's notable. Fix an issue in which units defeated by Jango Fett uh, and should have not revived can no longer be revived. Mainly applies to B1. Uh, fix an issue with Slave 1's reinforcement AI. By the way, notice they're still calling it Slave 1. So the, the, I know a lot of people are concerned about that Lego thing. Uh, that It looks like that's not affecting us, which is great. Uh, the Volatile Energies modifier now applies to summoned units and examined and tuned balanced issue, balance issues Related to the events containing characters experiencing kit change to endure or ensure those events remain at their current level of intended difficulty. And so I, that, that almost feels like a call out to the gas event specifically. Um, a lot of people were, were nervous about, uh, about what was going to happen there. So here we go. Here's a big post on Conquest. Um, buckle up, guys. We got a lot to talk about with Conquest. Conquest 7 begins August 30th. Okay. Put that on your calendars. That is Monday. Uh, so just a few days away, and brings thoroughly refreshed experience to the hollow tables. Next week, you will find new bosses, data discs, consumables, feats, and a fresh new reward, Maul. That's fresh. There are many topics to cover, so let's dive in. So goals of Conquest 7 are first big refresh of the entire Conquest experience. And I actually, so call, them calling it a big refresh, and the first one, that's I'd love to see that. Before I see what they're doing, this is a game mode that needs to be constantly refreshed. It lends itself to that constant updating cadence. And so them doing that makes me really happy. Uh, now, <laughs> jury's out on if I think the changes they're making are good, and we'll, we'll get to that here in just a second. But the effort to refresh that game mode makes me really happy. Um, our goal is still to regularly make these kinds of change-ups, uh, but being a brand new feature, the first set of conquests focused on fixing a bunch of bugs and gathering data, uh, getting conquest ironed out, and then building our plans to update the mode took a little longer than we expected the first time around. After reviewing the data from the first few events and hard mode, we started re on reworking the experience so we could release an update as soon as possible. With our initial launch behind us, Conquest 7 was the best time to mix up the formula and we hope to make, around, uh, to make around this level of alterations approximately every three months going forward. What a wonderful cadence. So we're going to have conquests every three months. They're going to refresh it. I love that. Uh, this conquest will be one of the most challenging yet, okay? And is designed to challenge a broad roster. So that may, that's definitely going to concern a lot of people as well. And so that's, that's going to be kind of the downside of the uh, constant refreshing is are they refreshing it? And scaling it up, I think they probably will continue to scale it up. And so, I, my hope is if you were able to beat it last time, you can beat it this time. But we may run into some issues. We may run into some issues where if you didn't complete conquest, uh, or if you completed conquest last time, you're not able to this time. And I, if that, if we run into that scenario, I think we are definitely going to have some some feelings about that. Um, so that's, that's probably my biggest concern there, but I also am okay with them scaling up the experience because if we just reach a point where conquest is on auto mode, I don't think it's that fun at a certain point. So anyway, up for debate, you guys can tell me what you think in the comments. Um, in addition to updating the experience, this conquest also seeks to address some of the issues we have seen in past events. We designed conquest as an event that players would engage over the course of two weeks we found that most players could rush through the event in the first few days and then went back to clean up a few feats afterwards. That's exactly what it was. That's, exa that's, that's exactly how I played it. Um, that was the extent of their engagement for the entire two weeks. Um, and there is little reason to continue playing the mode. Yep, uh, unless I wanted to record B-roll footage. So, yeah. Uh, the first thing we considered was making battles harder, 
but that would have locked out a number of players from participating and didn't really address the issue long term. I like that they realized that because I would agree. Instead of increasing the difficulty of the encounters, nodes will now cost more energy to battle and there is a bigger focus on completing a variety of new feats. While the time needed to complete conquest will increase, we also want to begin by uh, to offset this by reducing the time commitment in other parts of the game. As part of the update with Conquest 7, we'll be making Assault Battle simmable, so you'll have reached, once you've reached three stars for this feature, we are looking to make a Heroic Sith Triumvirate Raid simmable. All right. If you have uh, reached certain requirements. So, uh, HSTR, sim is inbound. Confirm. All right. Uh, what's new? There are too many changes to list here. Ooh. All right. But one of the most important changes is that data disks no longer require conquest currency to swap out. Thank you. <laughs> that was dumb. Data disks can now be swapped out using conquest energy instead. Um, and how much, let's see, does it show me how much energy here? It doesn't show. Um, I hope it's not much energy because it sounds like our energy cost is going to be ramped up for the nodes, right? And so I, I wonder how valuable that energy is going to become if we're, if we need more energy to beat conquest, right? So that's, that's my only concern there. Otherwise, I, I love it. Uh, this keeps swapping data disks meaningful as conquest energy is increasingly valuable this time, but also allows for much more flexibility. Okay. Well, remains to be seen. Uh, one of the first things you'll notice is some changes to the structure of the map. We have reworked the order uh, and which nodes you will encounter in each sector. There are new mini-bosses in the middle of each sector, and the bosses at the end you encounter have changed along with many of the feats for the battles. And so, uh, wow, Qui-Gon Jinn, Talzin, Sidious, that's interesting. And uh, Padme, okay, that's sector one, that's, that's, that's got to be the normal mode. Um, ooh, we got spoiler alerts, guys. Uh, the most exciting changes related to gameplay are the new data disks, consumables, and feats. We have swapped out some of the older data disks for the new ones, but you will find old favorites. Sorry, deployable cooling systems. You didn't make the cut. Gosh dang it, CG! You had one job, Crumb! Look at me, Crumb! You had one job! You had one freaking job to bring back our Lord and Savior deployable cooling systems. Get better! Be better than that. They got to bring it back at some point. <laughs> In addition to many of the previous consumables, there is a new set of consumables that are focused on a specific faction. Well, that's fun. Uh, we will leave it to the community to discover them all. But here are a few of the new ones. Okay, so this isn't everything. So some consumables. We got a resistance one. Uh, I'm just kind of heal over time, crit damage, crit chance. Okay. I'm just kind of scanning these. I don't want to just give a full, you know, bore you guys with all of them. Uh, we got a scoundrel one, which is going to, you know, buff uh, uh, target enemy for each buff the enemy has. That ally gains that buff for three turns. Okay, that's interesting. A little bit of a steal there. That makes sense for scoundrels, right? Separatists, summon separatists have 25% speed, max protection. Um, that's nice. Sith, whenever Sith ally is defeated, they gain 50% max health and offense. Uh, see, th these will be nice uh, for some of those, if those feats require that faction especially. Might be a good place to use that. And then here's some, uh, some data disks. All right, so defensive formation one, cost two, common. Whenever an ally attacks out of turn, all allies recover 2% protection. Okay, that's cool. Little Jedi Revan action there. Um, quick reflexes, cost three. Epic, uh, whenever an ally gains 10 buffs, they gain foresight. Whenever an ally evades, they reduce their cooldowns by one. Okay, all right. So, this may not be deployable cooling systems. But it's maybe a cousin, okay? You can reduce cooldowns every time an ally evades. I will take it, all right? That sounds fun. That cooldown decrease was awesome. And if you do this with, like, Yoda, where you got so much foresight... I, I think that you're gonna have you're gonna have a lot more of those cooldown increases. Uh, second cousin twice removed. I don't think that was there before. Uh, we we had this one here where when it, when you gain ten buffs you gain foresight, but this was not part of that. Um, unless I was just totally oblivious. I don't think it was. Okay, so boomy voice cost four legendary. When a, an allied unit in the leader slot uses an ability during their turn, all allies are called to assist. 
Um, I'm, I'm confused. I feel like that's exactly what that was already. Uh, chaotic recurrence. Cost four legendary. When a debuff on an enemy expires, they gain damage over time for two turns. Which can't be resisted. I I'm really excited about quick reflexes. I think quick reflexes sounds pretty exciting. This update brings a ton of changes to Conquest, and we will be reviewing your feedback. Oh, I'll, got, I'll, got, I'll have feedback for you <laughs> and the data from this event very closely. Thank you for reading. We hope you enjoy the refreshed Conquest experience. Um, I'm excited, guys. I, I don't have, uh, obviously, until we actually play the Conquest, I can't make a full opinion. But a lot of the changes seem good to me. And um, I'm excited to see exactly what the new bosses are. And I'm excited about the mini bosses. I'm a little apprehensive about how challenging it will be. I it, And it's... I don't I don't want to be in that position to make this decision, but here's what we want, right? You want it to be a, ch a satisfying challenge, right? And I, I feel like Conquest has been in many ways too easy. For I mean, I'm not the uber kraken of the world, right? I'm a decent whale at some... Sometimes I, I kind of... I, I morph. I'm a whale, and then I go to be a dolphin, and then I'll take a little month as a free-to-play, and then back to dolphin, then to whale, and I just, I kind of go back and forth, and um, I, I was able to beat Conquest without really having to think hard at all, and so I can only imagine what it's like for people who are, you know, seven, eight, nine million GP, but then how about the people who are four, five million GP? Um, I, I worry that, that this could be, uh, could be bad news for them, and so it's, Difficult to know exactly how to react to that, but I, I do welcome uh, more of a challenge. So anyway, lots more to discuss. Be sure to check out uh, the comments down below. Let me know how you feel. Like the video on your way out. And as always, my brothers, don't forget.